Let's learn in this video how to create a snapshot for a persistent volume in Kubernetes. In Kubernetes, we can use stateful data. I can save my data that could be like a database or a file into the uh, cluster itself. So for that, I can bind a disk or I can mount a volume that could be like a disk or a file share and my data will still there on that disk. But now the question is, what if I lose that disk? What if a crash happens or what if anything bad happens to that disk? So here I need to backup that disk. So actually we can use these kind of operations from the cloud manager itself. So I can go to the Azure portal and then I can go to create a backup for that disk or I can create a snapshot from there. But this feature is now actually available within the Kubernetes API itself because Kubernetes implements an API that is called the cloud manager that enables Kubernetes to talk to the Azure uh, API in order to uh, provision load balancers and to also create disks and also create a snapshot. So today in this video, we'll show how we can create that snapshot using the Kubernetes API using YAML files. To demo this environment, I have some scripts that I will run along with some YAML files. You can find all the scripts inside this GitHub repository. And I've already created an AKS cluster uh, in my Azure subscription. And then switching to my local machine, I have here that a GitHub uh, repository and my local machine where I have the script that we run this demo. So first here I start by setting up the environment. So I create a pod and I also attach a disk into that pod. So I do that by using this folder stateful app where here I have a sample nginx pod that I deploy and then I go to mount a volume that will go to ask for a claim name that is pvc azure disk. I have created that disk through this YAML file pvc azure disk. Uh, so this is going to use the managed azure disk that uses the new volume driver that is the CSI driver. Note that here we can also specify some other storage classes like this one that I put here just for uh, this example to show that you can customize your storage class in AKS. I have already deployed the pod, so I've deployed that YAML file into my AKS cluster. Note how I'm here already connected to my cluster. Then I've deployed the disk and the pod. So it tells me here the disk was created. And if I try get PVC, then I can see that disk mounted into my cluster. And you can also can see that disk from the Azure portal. If I go to the resource group for my node pools, and if I go to refresh here, I should see here a new Azure disk that was created and that was mounted to my pod. Now let's go to persist some data into this Azure disk. So to do that, I'll use this sample uh, script that will go just to exec inside the Nginx pod and then it will go to create a, a file called test.txt and then it will, I'll go to ls inside that uh, mounted volume and I should see here my test.txt file now persisted inside the Azure disk. Now let's go to create a snapshot for that Azure disk. For that, I'll switch to this to this folder snapshot and I start here, I have two YAML files actually. One of them is the volume snapshot class. And each time I wanna create a snapshot, I can specify a custom uh, snapshot class. In this case here, I'm using this custom uh, snapshot class that uses the disk from CSI driver in Azure. And I specify here that the deletion policy should be delete. And they have some other parameters like the incremental depending on if you are running on Azure Cloud or on Azure Stack. So the deletion policy delete here means that each time I go to delete my uh, snapshot or if I try to delete uh, the snapshot, it will actually be deleted from here. So then I'll go to create the snapshot itself. So this is my main a YAML file that will go to actually create the snapshot itself. So here it's of type volume snapshot. And that volume snapshot will use the class name that I've created earlier. And then it will ask me here which persistent volume claim you want to create a snapshot for. So here I put the name of my Azure disk that I've bound it to my Nginx pod. If I go back to this PVC, that's the same name. So that's my persistent volume claim, PVC Azure disk. So I say I wanna snapshot this disk. So let's do that. So I start here by creating the volume snapshot class, and then I'll create the uh, snapshot itself. Oops, wrong uh, folder. Let me correct that. And then I run the script again. So that will go to first create the volume snapshot class. 
once that's created next i'll move to creating the snapshot itself and here it tells me congratulations your volume snapshot was created and I get a nice warning here telling me that the v1 beta1 was deprecated i should move now to the v1 because it moved to the stable version so at this time here i get the disk already bound to my uh, pod and i also get the uh, snapshot so by running az disk list dash o table i can see here my persistent volume and if i run az snapshot list then i would see here the uh, snapshot that was created for my disk I can view the same information if I go back to my Azure portal, if I go to the same resource group for my node pool, then click refresh. Here I would see the persistent volume along with its own snapshot. And if I go back, go inside that snapshot, I would see it was a snapshot from the disk PVC. And note how I can create a disk from this uh, snapshot. But here we'll do that through the Kubernetes API instead of the Azure API. We can also get more information about that disk if I go to run kube control describe the volume snapshot then here I will get the YAML for that snapshot and inside the event section it will tell me here that snapshot was created successfully. So now that we have the snapshot we are supposed to be ready for a failure of a disk. So uh, here I'll go to simulate a case after a failure. How can I uh, go back or how can I uh, resolve the issue of the disk failure. So for that I can reuse that snapshot. So to demo that I'll go here to create a persistent volume claim that will be based on the data source that is actually that will point me to the volume snapshot that I've created earlier. So this will create a Azure disk based on the volume snapshot that I've created. I'll name that volume uh, um, snapshot Azure Disk Volume Snapshot and it's sort of kind volume uh, snapshot. It will have the same size, 10 gigabytes, and it will use the same storage class that is the managed uh, CSI. I'll go now to run the command to apply the YAML file that will go to create uh, the disk based on the restored snapshot. And here it tells me that disk was created. So if I go to run here, cube control get PVC, I should see a second PVC created for me that was the one after uh, restoring. So it will be in the pending state because it is actually waiting for a pod to be created uh, in order to be bound to that or to be mounted into that pod. So let's go to create or simulate a pod that will be using this, uh, this disk. I'll use another Nginx pod. What I could have used is that I could I could use the same Nginx pod, the first one that I've used in the demo. But here, uh, for simplicity, I'll go to provision another Nginx pod that uses the same image, and that will go to mount a volume of type Azure Disk that will be based on the uh, claim name that is the restored snapshot. I'll go deploy the pod. Tells me the pod is created. Let's just wait for it. So now I have two pods, one the first one and the second one that was restored that will be reusing the uh, persistent volume from the snapshotted disk. Great, my pod is running. So at this time here, if I run az disk dash list dash o table, then I should see that I should have here three disks into my resource group. And yes, here it is. Now I can see two disks inside that resource group. I can view simply that information if I go back to the Azure portal. If I refresh the resources, then I would see here the second disk that will be bound to my Nginx pod. So for now, my Nginx pod should be able to access the same data that was persisted by the first pod into my disk. So let's check if that is the case so i'm going to run here cool control exec engine x and i'll go to ls the files inside the azure disk and here i would see my test.txt file that i've persisted at the beginning of this demo through the command through the command right here so that was how simple it is to create a volume snapshot in kubernetes in order to uh, to protect our data from failure or from being deleted. 
There are actually some other tools that makes it even a little bit more easier to work with these snapshots and backups for the cluster and for our data through tools using Velero. So with Velero, for example, you can migrate uh, your and you can migrate and you can backup all your uh, resources, including the uh, disks and also the YAML files of your cluster. And then you will be able to restore the entire uh, that entire configuration into a new cluster. So that will um, protect you against losing even all of your uh, cluster. So at the, at the end here, there are in the Microsoft documentation, we have specific documentation for working with the CSI drivers along for uh, the Azure disk or the Azure files. And uh, in this documentation here, we will find more, uh, more details about how to work with the snapshots and uh, also you'll find lots of good demo. I hope you liked the video. Thank you.